One of the most heated food debates in Africa, who makes the best jollof? A humble yet flavor-packed dish made out of rice and a mix of blended tomatoes, onions, spices and sometimes meat. The dish is popular across West Africa, but the controversy lies in which country can lay claim to the tastiest version. Nigerians consume jollof religiously. It is why the Jollof Rice Festival was attended by more than 4,000 people. I don't think I can go a whole week without eating jollof rice. That's how important it is. And as you can see, I'm even having some of it right now, even though there are other options of other things that I could have chosen. There's a party if there's no jollof rice. The party is not yet over. So I think it's just something that the Nigerian society, we've come to all agree with generally that it's a very important meal forever. The dish is said to have originated from Senegal, where jollof is a wall of word meaning one pot, but it is also popular in countries like Gambia, Sierra Leone, Togo, Liberia, Mali, Cameroon and Nigeria. Experts say the key to great tasting jollof is blending all the ingredients with the rice. Nigerians, however, claim they are the real winners of what has become to be known as jollof wars. Jollof rice is originally from Senegal. Um, it's not indigenous to Nigeria, but Nigerians do it really, really well. And Nigerians have found a way to bring jollof rice into practically everything they do. So birthdays, funerals, parties. Nigerian jollof goes with everything, and is you know jollof rice has become that mainstay. You go to a party and there's no jollof rice, you're like, oh boy, what's going happen? You know, it's it's just become an icon of celebration. For Nigeria, there are no grey areas. There were more than 30 jollof vendors at the festival held at a park in Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos.